So, um, hi everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Lena Sharnaite. Um, I'm an international recruitment coordinator here uh, at Northumbria University. I work in Europe exclusively. Um, I am from Lithuania myself and I moved to the UK to study for my undergraduate degree in 2013. So, um, I'd like to think that I know what what you guys are going through. So if you do have any questions, just, just let me know. Because for me, it was one of the best decisions uh, to, go, to decide to go and study in the UK. And I really hope that the information I share will help you to make an informed and that this great decision for yourselves too. So I usually go to recruitment fairs when I talk to students and um, I usually get um, these kinds of questions. Uh, they ask me, can you tell me a bit more about the university? Um, can I study X, Y, or Z here? Then they ask me, why should I choose Northumbria? And then they ask practical things like, um, what are the entry requirements, fees, scholarships, and so on. So this is exactly how I'll structure the presentation today. So hopefully it will be really easy to follow and un uh, understandable. Um, it's going to be around 20 to 30 minutes. So um, let's make a start. So this is a brief um, introduction about Northumbria. So you can see that um, one of my favorite things actually is that we have so many international students. We, we are a large university, but over 30% uh, of our students are international, sorry, 20% are international. So you will definitely not be the only person that's not from the UK. So you'll meet people from all around the world. Um, so that's really exciting. We are a top 30 UK university in the latest uh, Guardian um, rankings and we are UK's uh, top young university in the world rankings. So that's really um, impressive and it shows that we are innovative, um, growing and ambitious university. Our focus is on graduate employability, uh, providing world-class facilities and uh, giving you the best student experience possible. And you can see all of those rankings in the middle uh, section of the slide. Um, one way we make sure that you have a good time while you're here is by, by having lots of societies, sports clubs, um, study abroad opportunities. And I'm gonna talk about all of those things um, a little bit later. So, uh, because a lot of people ask me, so can I study business, can I study architecture, can I study design here? So, um, I'll just tell you that Northumbria has over 200 different programs. So, it's probably easiest to say what we do not offer. So, unfortunately, we do not have veterinary um, courses, um, marine engineering, um, pharmacy, <laughs> and we offer majority of the others. So I couldn't include all of them on the slide, but you can see our main four academic faculties on here. So um, I'll introduce um, all of them one by one, but, um, but just bear in mind that whichever course you choose, you're gonna have the opportunity to use the industry standard world-class facilities, and you'll have plenty of opportunities to have hands-on practical experience that you know that students like the most and I liked them the most when I was a student. So um, let's start with business and law. So we're one of the most prestigious business schools in the country with a wide range of accreditations from respected international bodies. Um, when you're a student here in business and law faculty, you'll have a chance to work with real businesses and provide them real solutions to their problems in our business clinic or law clinic, depending on what you study. So before you graduate, you'll have a track record of consultancy to show employers, which is really great and unique and exciting, I think. And Northumbria is ranked number one in the UK for employment of law graduates and number two in the UK for graduate startups. So I think it really just shows the effectiveness of the degrees. Um, the second department is health and life sciences. So this is for people that wanna study applied sciences, forensic sciences, psychology, sport, um, all of these uh, type of courses. So it's a well-ranked department, some of which um, graduates include Olympic gold medalists, like Victoria Pendleton, um, living legend in the world of rugby, uh, Martin Corey, and so many others. So this department has uh, impressive facilities. Uh, students benefit from simulation mannequins. It's these mannequins that um, nursing students can uh, play with and they treat them like normal people and they respond like almost like normal people. So it's just really a uh, smart device to help students have that practical experience. Uh, we also have great labs that students that study sciences can, can, can work in uh, at least once per week. 
Um, and also we have for forensic students, uh, forensic sciences students, we have a simulated crime scene house. So you get to come in and explore um, the evidence and, and just have that real life experience. And for sports students, we have physiology, biomechanics, nutritional labs, and so on. So it's a really great department uh, for sure. Um, the third department, it's art, design, and social sciences. So um, if you're interested in design, art, history, education, criminology, literature, this is the department for you. So it's a wide range of programs. Uh, but again, just like in other departments, you're not only going to learn how to use the techniques and um, programs, um, you know, the um, technical aspects of the job, but also how to think outside of the box and be employable as an artist, which I think is sometimes can be a challenge. So we really do focus on that. And we have partnerships with a variety of established global companies. Um, we have graduates who went and worked at BBC. MTV, Tommy Hilfiger, Calvin Klein. And I have two really great examples of students that studied here. One of them is Sir Jonathan Ive. So I don't know if any of the viewers are watching me through their iPhones or Macs and so on. So if you are, you can thank uh, Sir Jonathan Ive because he's um, the former chief designer at Apple responsible for design and he studied design for industry at Northumbria. So, um, and we also have Neil Marshall who directed some episodes of Game of Thrones, Hannibal, Westworld. So he's a really uh, famous director now and he studied uh, film and TV production at Northumbria. So um, I think it, again, it just shows the effectiveness of our degrees and this focus on employability. And who knows, this, this could be you. And last but not least, our engineering and environment department. So if you'd like to study architecture, engineering, or computer science, this maths, physics, this is the department for you. And you can see we're ninth in the UK for architecture, and we are well ranked in engineering. And this is the department that received a really generous investment from the university. And we opened a brand new architecture building that you can see in the photo and a computer and information sciences building as well. So if you want to study computer and information sciences, we have um, animation lab, games design studio, cybersecurity lab. Um, again, lots of great um, spaces for you to learn how to, um, how you'll be like you'll have to work after you graduate so um i know i spoke for a little while so i'm gonna make a little break and destroy some protos so um i was speaking about computer information science so that's the picture in the middle the round glass uh, building uh, really beautiful building and the top uh, left is the architecture studios the second photo that says student central is our um is our library you can see some labs here um, and um, the, the, the boxes that look like microwaves are uh, 3D printers. Um, again, um, super cool and students love to use those and they're really useful for architecture or engineering students, but, but lots of different um, students can use those. Uh, the photos at the bottom of the screen are our labs again. So the one on the left is our sports students lab. So um, this is uh, an example of how we test uh, athletes' performance. Um, and the one on the uh, right in the corner is the, the fashion design students uh, studio. So you see it's this massive room of sewing machines. It's a really inspiring environment for you to work in. And here you can see some photos of our library. It's so beautiful. It's the giant second best library in the UK, which is so cool. Um, and um, and the second photo is the printmaking room. Um, it's really a wonderful facility as well that we're proud to have. This, this, uh, you can see the simulation mannequins that I was talking about. And the photo on the bottom left corner is the um, engineering uh, students um, studios. Okay, so now that you know what you could study here, you might be thinking, okay, but why here at Northumbria? So um, I speak with a lot of students in my job and um, I always want to know why they chose us. And these are the top three reasons why I summarized. So the location, employability, a great, and great student experience. So let's start with location. 
So um, I will ask um, my colleagues to, to share a little video um, just to break up me, me talking, but I think it just really shows the vibe of the university and also the, the city of Newcastle where we are based really well. So hopefully you can see the video now. Now, um, I can't see the screen, but I can hear from the sound. I hope you found it um, interesting. And I think it really shows the vibe of the city well. And I know we can't travel at the moment, but hope this helped you to explore it a little bit better. So um, we are based, uh, the, the, you saw Newcastle upon, upon Tyne, where Northumbria University is based. And you can see it here on the map. Um, we are three hours a train ride away from London, one hour and a half uh, away from, from Edinburgh. And we have our own um, airport in Newcastle. So it is a really well connected city. And you can also see that uh, we are near the coast, which is my favorite part. Um, sorry, let me just change the slide. Yeah, so you can see the coast here. Uh, it's only 20 minutes metro ride away, uh, which is um, something that is so special. And I, I was really su surprised to see such a beautiful beach in, in the UK, because I don't think we really associate England with, with beaches. Uh, and it's especially beautiful now in the snow. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, so we are one of the best UK student cities. Um, we've been voted that numerous times. And that's why we attract, that's one of the reasons why I attract so many students. So every sixth uh, person in Newcastle is a student. So it's really young and vibrant city. We are a safe, uh, one of the safest UK universities. So it's a safe environment for you to study, but uh, safety doesn't mean boring. We are number one in the UK for nightlife. Um, I know now it's <laughs> different when everything's closed, but I'm sure as soon as everything opens, it's gonna light up and um, get back to the um, exciting exciting life again. Uh, but even now when everything's closed, there's so many things to see, uh, historical castles, as I mentioned, beaches. This is just one example, but we have so many different beaches as well, World Heritage sites. Uh, we also, we even have a, a castle where they filmed Harry Potter's um, Hogwarts um, nearby as well. And the photo at the top, um, at the bottom uh, left corner is um, of, uh, is, is something that happens in Newcastle every year. It's the Great North Run, which is the world's largest half marathon. So it's a, the largest half marathon in the world. So if you're into sports or arts and music, shopping, um, whatever, it's, it's a great city and you'll find something there for yourself. And it's one of the most affordable UK cities, uh, which is a really important fact. And I think that your uh, parents will like hearing that. So the second reason why students choose us is probably one of the most important one is the employability. I already said that we are number seven in the UK for graduates employment um, and seven, uh, second in the UK for startups. But we all, uh, so, and you can see the logos of the companies where our students worked at or where they've done their placements. So I'm sure you'll recognize a couple and, um, on the on the bottom of the screen, you can see uh, lots of logos. You might not recognize those, but these are uh, very important professional bodies that accredited our uh, courses. So, um, so the accreditations. Um, 
prove the, the quality and and, um, and the fact that they uh, meet the academic standards. So um, a lot of employers will be looking for accreditations when they look who to employ. So this really helps with securing a, a good job after, after you um, graduate. And the way we reach this, uh, these high employability rankings is by having lots of different ways we give you opportunities to have practical experience and, and, and um, experience what it's like to actually work in, in your field before you graduate. So we work with lots of different businesses. Um, I mentioned the facilities. We also have an awards winning careers department. If you would like to start your own business, we have Enterprise and Innovation Fund, Business Incubator, so we can help with mentoring, uh, but also with uh, finances and with the with a space where you can start your business as well, like a physical space, the offices. So, um, but as I said, if you want to work in a different field, we have the careers department that can help you find placements or put you in a study abroad where you can get that international experience that's important in, in, in many of the fields these days. So, um, study abroad and placements are offered in a lot of our uh, study programs, in almost all of them. And um, we can't travel at the moment, but I think we can just um, dream about doing that in the future um, if, you, if you choose to study here. And these are some locations where our students have done their placements previously. So the placement is a year-long uh, work experience that's paid. Um, that happens after your second year before your final year. Um, so you can see there are some examples in Europe, outside Europe, uh, but there's also, of course, in, in the UK as well. And for study abroad, uh, I always get asked, where can I do my study abroad? And we are so, so grateful to have so many international partners. And you can see the map and all the dots show where you could go and study abroad. Um, and these are some destinations where students went um, two years ago. Um, three years ago. So um, United States, Australia are always popular, some destinations in Europe. So there's lots of different choices for you and options. And these kinds of experience really make you stand out for your for the employers and help you um, with your employability afterwards. And finally, the third reason why uh, choosing, choose us is because of the student experience. You're going to be at university for three years, so we want to make sure that you, you become employable, you learn what you need to learn, but also have a good time. And part of it is living in an uncomfortable environment, so the accommodation. So all of first year students are uh, guaranteed accommodation. The accommodation starts from £70 per month, and it's uh, within walking distance from campus. So you can see the city center map here on the right. The blue area is the city center. Uh, sorry, is the uh, is the university campus, and the little numbers show where the uh, accommodation options are. So you can see they're all really close to the um, to the to the city center, but also to the campus. So. Um, you will always have your own room, which I think is <laughs> good to know. So you'll have your privacy, but there's also um, shared communal areas where you can uh, meet other people and socialize. So um, I think it's just perfect environment for first year olds, uh, first year students, but also for, for any others that would like to stay in the accommodation for the other years. And um, again, um, just making sure that you have a great experience. We have more than 100 student societies. So um, whether you like yoga or uh, computer games, um, cocktails, dancing, there's so many different activities to join and meet like-minded people. Uh, if you're into sports, we have more than 40 different sports. and. Um, so, and all of these are, will be presented to you during the Freshers Week um, that happens uh, first week before you um, start your studies. So, lots of effort is being put in uh, into making sure that you have the best time here and you're um, settling in. And I, I joined um, Salsa and Bachata Society and I really loved it and I met so many great people. And you can see the photo here, um, the, the second photo from the top um, with all the people from, from the, my favorite society at Northumbria. But I'm sure you'll be able to find your favorites as well. And um, if anything goes wrong or if you need support or just someone to talk to, we do have student support and well-being team. And even though, um, even if everything goes perfectly, I think it's just nice to know that the support is there. Um, so these are the ways we make sure that you have a great student experience here at Northumbria. So I spoke about uh, 
about the university, about what you can study here, um, and the main three reasons why students choose us. So now we'll talk about the more practical things. So I get asked, um, do you get a lot of Czech students at Northumbria? So um, you can see that the number of students are, has, has been increasing in the last three years. And last year we reached the peak and it was 222 students that actually joined Northumbria um, and started their studies in September. So you can see that um, it's an approved, <laughs> Czech approved university because the number is just, it keeps rising. So um, you'll be welcome, welcomed in a great society uh, with, of Czech students, but also of other international students as well. So if you ever feel a little homesick, you know that there's some uh, people from, from your own country there here as well. Um, probably one of the more important slides is the entry requirements. If you like, uh, you can take a screenshot of this or you can scan the, scan the QR code on the right uh, that will take you straight to the entry requirements for Czech students. So um, you can see here that we ask for a maturita with an overall average of 2.5 or lower of our bachelor degree um, applicants. If you'd like to do a master's, then we ask for a 2.0 in your bachelor's. So that's the academic requirements. Some, some courses will ask you to have specific subjects. So if you would like to study chemistry, we'll ask you for, to have chemistry. Um, if if um, if you would like to study biology, we'll ask you to have a specific score in biology. But majority of uh, courses will only ask you for this average. Then we'll also look at your English language. So uh, we can take it uh, from your maturita. Uh, if you have two or lower, you don't need to have any other tests in English. But you're, if you're already taking IELTS and maybe you've been better in your IELTS and in maturita, we can accept that. And we ask for six with, low no, with no lower score than 5.5 in each component. We also accept a variety of other English tests as well. But if you have maturita, you don't need to worry about that. That's all we need. And lastly, um, the only other thing we could ask you is the portfolio. So, but that's only for creative degrees. So if you're interested in design, fashion, animation, architecture, you probably know that you will need a portfolio, but we have a special guide that explains what we need for each uh, course specifically. So if you want to scan the bottom QR code, it will take you to the um, straight to the portfolio guide and uh, you'll see exactly what, you, what we need from you. <laughs> Um, so you can either take a picture or use the QR um, code um, scanner on the slide. And lastly, I thought I'll end on a positive note that um, you probably know that because of Brexit now, EU students will have to pay international fees. Um, so we are really um, delighted and I'm so glad to be able to offer this scholarship because it's almost a 7,000 pounds discount that will bring back your uh, tuition fees to how it was for EU students in the previous years. So it's going to be 9,250 pounds um, if you are an EU student with international fee status that starts in September uh, 2021. So we have a scholarship for undergraduate, but also for postgraduate students as well. So I'm just really pleased to be able to offer this and hopefully make the studies more affordable to you. And that's it. So um, if you do have any questions, um, Unilink is a great team and they will, can help you to apply. But also feel free to email me about anything you want. Um, feel free to book a meeting with me afterwards as well, if you like. You can do that by scanning this co code as well, which will take you to my calendar and you can book a meeting. Um, we can talk about anything just um, I, I hope I can help you because I've went through the same um, experience myself being from Europe and coming to the UK to study. So we can just have a chat and I can answer any of your questions. So I hope this was helpful um, and it was a great overview about why, uh, what is Northumbria and why students choose it. So thank you very much.